Yeah. So, rubbish. Rubbish, this is that. Uh, okay, are we going to go to Riley Hill? Ah, oh, no, we're not. We're going to have somebody new. Sorry, because I love that look. I really love it. Very impressive for our doggish. Sorry, I, I happen to love that film. But we're going to go to you, lovely lady with the blonde hair. So, what is your name? We have to give everyone a chance. Uh, what's your Hi, name? Hi, my name is Tori. Thank you. Hi, Tori. So, um, it's just interesting to, to listen to all the questions and to hear the different things. I think one of the things that struck me was the, the palette. It was interesting you said the thing about how it was choreographed. I think that it very easily could have run into feeling very repetitious and everything. And I think there was a softness to the palette that made certain things, the violence, the blood, which I thought was the best I've ever seen because I think that could have upstaged the whole film if you would gotten that wrong. But it was just right to be the really neutral palette, the red, the turquoise, the, the careful selection on things. Did you, and, and the music, I guess, that kind of gentleness. It was a really interesting choice as a backdrop. I think it, it added so much to it. I, yeah, I, mean, I, I guess my question is, did you really, really spend a lot of time on those details? Well, I'm very happy you've noticed. Yes, yeah. Tori, thank you. Uh, before you ask that, Tori, thank you so much for that question because uh, it's here and I was, uh, thought I wouldn't get a chance to answer it because, uh, yeah, that really made an impression on me. So, well, I'm, really, I'm really happy that, that, that you, you get that from the film because. Um, I, I, one of the things that was important was that because it was such, such a sort of violent journey for two people, I wanted it to be really beautiful. And there were two things that were important. One, I sort of had this idea that it was like two animals in the jungle fighting till the end, and that that was relevant to their style of fighting and making it very um, uh, naturalistic. So I worked with Paul Burns, the production designer, and bringing kind of a natural element into the house, so it's like a jungle. and the, it was like it's supposed to be a bit like a, there's a Rousseau painting of the jungle with two people in it, and that was what it was. That was the inspiration for the home. But when it came to the palette, we really, I you know, it was very important for me that it was a beautiful kind of neutral, not too pretty, not too ugly, but a very narrow band with the colour. We didn't have a huge, huge budget. We were there were restrictions in spite of the beauty and the scale of the house. Uh, so it was just trying to bring that palette to something more reduced. Um, and also, the reason was um, I wanted to take the red out of everything so that when you saw the blood for the first time, it, it had an impact. So that was also the reason to reduce it. Uh, great question, I would say that, because I had to. Thank you, Tori. Um, do you know, I'm really, really anxious now because I know we're being wound up, but hey-ho, you know, uh, we're still here. Uh, but uh, you, 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 you touched on something else there that I, I, I had a question about, thanks to Tori's question. Um, it, it, the budget, you know, low budget, but it didn't look like it was a low budget. And, and I, I was wondering how you managed to achieve that and, and during uh, my research. Uh, you have a very interesting, slightly different background, if, if, if people don't know. Can, can you just, very briefly, I'm so sorry, but talk a little bit about that, because I think it's really interesting um, how you achieved that um, high budget look with a very, very low budget and to do with where you come from. I think, I think what you're alluding to, I think, is because I'm uh, from art school and I didn't go to film school. Um, I made films at art school and I made music to go with them. And then I, I studied photography um, at an MA here at Goldsmiths. So I have that as my background. And I work more in stills to begin with, and then moved into promos and short films. So I had a different way into making films. But but, but, but also, I kind of, I think it's always been so difficult to make yeah. films that the budget is sort of irrelevant. You get what you get. And and you make a good you make a good story you make it work and you, you use what you've got and I mean so I don't want to be disrespectful we had a great budget and but and we had Hollywood you know international stars who who at the top of their game were just absolutely remarkable to work with and you know Nolan Jason and Maggie and Alexandra and, and the whole team put this together so that we got you know it it, it never felt like it was a low budget film to me. No. Well, look, 